poverty, uh, the joblessness and hopelessness within our community drives so many people into intersex work, unfortunately. This is an underground party at the climax of 2023. It's a special gathering where a group of online hookers meet to blow off and openly be who they are. Parties like these don't happen quite often because they have dangerous consequences. Anyone who lives off the benefits of sex work, if you're found to be doing that, you could be imprisoned for up to seven years. Online hookers are people who transact sexual services for money, but these hookers are being targeted. They are being killed, raped, robbed and exploited in silence. NBS Investigates is now out on the move to put human face to a story that paints an immoral picture of scam, rape, money and sex extortion. I have had both cases of um, even murder. You, you go to work for someone or to do, to have sex with them, they have called you, maybe they picked you off the street, took you to their home. You get there, and this person decides to to kill you or to beat you, to torture you, to and then later just put you back on the street. There's lots of violence. They suffer and they are afraid to report. The questions of why it happens, by who, when, how and why are key to this investigation. One of the victims, a 27 years old Miss D, we've changed her name to protect her identity. On the 14th of November 2023, she cheated death by a whisker while she had gone to meet a friend, Tanda Greza, in Bulaga, a fast-growing Kampala suburb along Kampala Mityana Road. This is believed to be the operation base for the suspected rapist, robber, gradually becoming a serial criminal hooking vulnerable girls and women into a sex trap. <laughs> The wounds led to severe bleeding, difficulty in breathing, anxiety and cough. This happened in the wee hours of the night and luckily, she found some first responders that managed to save her life. Miss D was taken to a nearby health facility and later referred to Chirudu National Referral Hospital for further management and was advised to take a chest x-ray. I had to do surgical tireting and suturing, trying to cover up the other hole now to avoid air from outside the environment to intermix with that inside. Miss D was later admitted on the 16th of November 2023. The doctors had to do chest drainage so as to help heal her chest sustained wounds. She was discharged after five days and is now living with scars and has picked a chronic cough which has compromised her healthy living. <laughs> Miss D is a figure among many other women who want hope and are looking for justice. 
We tracked down another lady who was raped, robbed and exploited by an unknown man in the same locality of Blaga at the roadside, suspiciously using the same tactics. Meet Davina, a 32 years old mother of two who has held on to her rape story for the past three months and not spoken about it due to fear of rebuke and ridicule by society. Davina too got trapped in Bulaga after an invitation for a sexual relationship by a would-be friend or partner. The friend guided her into a black spot so as to take advantage of her. She was stripped of her clothes, severely raped at knife point, and all her belongings stolen, leaving her soaked in shame, self-blame, and emotionally broken. <laughs> Davina is visibly strong. She doesn't easily cry, but you can feel the pain in her muffled voice only to burst into tears. <laughs> this incident turned her life into nightmares. <laughs> Davina and Miss D have one thing in common. Their unknown friend turned into attacker is suspected to be of the same identity and location of attack is in the same proximity as well as the trend of connection or meeting him. This pattern is crucial in this investigation. Both of them met the unknown friend for sexual pleasure through a social media group on WhatsApp, buzzing messages. What you've just seen is a discreet WhatsApp group where mothers, daughters, sisters, brothers, fathers and outcasts meet to share information about their sexual life. In here are different conversations and strategies for people to find sexual partners on a daily. It's a busy platform and the content here is rated XX. Davina and Miss D believe to have met their attackers through this medium. It's not regulated and the risks to individual members are high, ranging from compromised privacy, scamming, rap, beating and health-related complications. There are scammers there, there are murders there, there are people who do day hookups and people who do night hookups. So there are so much challenges with the people who do the night thing and they make out calls. A person invites you, you end up, when you meet that person, you find that he's even more than one. You end up not hooking but being raped. Sometimes you fear tell anyone, yet you've been tortured. Miss D had the confidence to speak about her violent attack in her WhatsApp group, and this sparked consorted efforts and a big outpour of several members who were dying silently after similar attacks and rape instances had happened to them. Group members shared contacts of the unknown attackers widely on different hookup WhatsApp groups and it was high alert in efforts to catch the unknown attackers. Within no time, suspected pictures of alleged unknown attackers were shared. From this elegant gentleman to this relaxed man, and this man in a video grab were some of the photos that popped of the man the ladies in the group suspected to be their tormentor. But here comes a shocker. The suspect texted back to one of the girls in the WhatsApp group. This is tense. The cover is blown. 
The suspect was watching the conversation in the group. The girls are outsmarted. Yes. The suspect has slipped away and remains at large. NBS investigates decided to go undercover, communicating with a suspected attacker. Our team started laying a trap with the aim of luring the suspect to meet. This was a conversation in the right direction. The suspect is willing to meet our undercover reporter in the guise of a sexual partner or friend. We talked for some days, some weeks. Maybe it even reached a month. He tried to give me different appointments on different days. I could fail like two, like three. The fourth appointment he gave me. The last attempt and this was the D-Day. I told you AS, AS petrol stations. It is next after that uh, Starbucks, okay? The next petrol station you pass after Starbucks. That's why I'm half stand here in the way. On this border border is our undercover reporter, and in this waiting car is a covert team from Uganda police. Mission is to arrest the suspected attacker and serial rapist. Our bait has arrived at the arranged meeting point. You look, look, look in front of you, look in front of you, eh? You have seen, look at me, phone is up. I have seen something. The suspect and bait walk towards each other. He is falling right into our trap. Positioned right beside them is a car with a police covert team ready to pounce. The place is down now, I'm trying to direct you. How can you? It's okay. I'm sorry. How can you stand there? I'm sorry. No, you're not about to stand on your hand. I'm coming from the office where we're going. They're like, I told you you have seen me. I like your perfume. Sure. So, how are we moving? If you can't move, we stop the border. We're going far. Not far. Just, we're not going to reach that daughter. Then we stop far a bit. We'll see where the couple is. Far a bit. We'll see where the couple is. Okay, What's happening? Suspect is nabbed. He's in possession of a knife. Is there? Steven Odonkara, why do you do this? Have some people who have seen the script. Who sample. sent you? Eh? Who is this knife? How many are you? There's some guy who's in jeans. He was here and then he is close to ginger. Police? Which one? Here, black. The locals here are familiar with the stories of rape and robbery inflicted onto most girls in their neighborhood. To our undercover reporter, it's a job well done, but it got scary to her at some point. So on touching on him, they realized he had a knife. They pulled it out of his pant. The knife was bright, it was glittering. Like my heart, I got so much shocked. 
I was like, just in case these people failed, he could do the same thing as others are reporting that he did. <coughs> Having arrested this suspect, the police may now be able to track the gang he is working with and potentially save more victims from the attacks. This incident was of national news and it made it to the weekly police press briefings. Crime intelligence teams in Kampala Metropolitan Division uh, in coordination with Kampala Metropolitan North and Wakiso arrested the one Odonkara Stephen, a 28-year-old electrician of Bulaga B, uh, village Wakiso, for a string of uh, knife-point robberies against uh, female victims lured from Facebook. <laughs> the police are ongoing with the investigations and we are invited as a search is being conducted at the suspect's home. <laughs> the neighbors are in disbelief as several items like bags, cosmetics are recovered. Some of the victims are part of the search and they identified their lost items. You take a pick of the other one. It's a walk of shame. The arrest of Odongo Kara has hastened the need for justice by most of the girls. Shockingly, the suspect admitted to robbing and meeting all the victims. We make a program with certain girls. Mm. Then after meeting, we fell again. Then she dragged me. Then she she pulls me with a with a screwdriver. Then that's the reason why I was just moving with those for the purpose of defense. Could be a mental health problem. He could just be a criminal that is using his power in this society to abuse women. Those girls, we 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 begin with all we buy them. So, been chatting for a long time. Over five girls have reported to police stations in Bulaga and Wakiso, identifying Odongakara as their tormentor. <laughs> and to most of these girls, their prayer is. <laughs> That person doesn't deserve to be freed. Stephen is facing charges of rape and aggravated robbery, among other charges. In Uganda, the Penal Code Act 1994, Section 118, confines any person who commits the offense of rape liable to suffer death. The offense of attempted rape is defined under Section 119 and a penalty of life imprisonment is prescribed. Prima Kwagala offers free legal services to women and she on daily interacts with sex-related cases and the problem is immense. I mean, sex work is basically transactional sex. It's transacting sex for a service, sex for a commodity, sex for food, sex for pads. It is a commodity that unfortunately many times we ignore bury our heads in the sand, it's not happening, and uh, criminalize whoever we assume is doing bad things, and therefore it, is, it, it happens and thrives underground. Odong Kara is burdened with guilt, and the victims are left in disbelief, waiting for the courts of law to expeditiously serve the long-awaited justice. NBS Investigates is keeping an eye to the tail end for the closure expected by the shattered victims. This is NBS Investigates.